people may say that addiction, oh, it doesn't affect me. If you're a human being right now, and especially in the Mahoning Valley, if it affects you. Brian Williams knows firsthand the effects of addiction. A recovering crack addict, he has dedicated his life to fighting the war on drugs. Families always call and they say, well, what's the first thing that I need to do to get my loved one in? I said, you just took it. It's a phone call. If you don't call, there, there is no help. Williams watches the heroin epidemic grow day by day. You know, I'd like to say that, you know, at one time, addiction and the drug epidemic, you could have said, oh, it's the inner city, you know, it, it's the bad parts of town. But now in our, in our area, you could go to Boardman and get it. Addicts admit there is no limit to how far they go for their fix. Tim Deemer recently graduated from Teen Challenge. He says his addiction started as a teenager. I lacked identity, didn't know who, who I was, um, just tried to fit in with everybody. Drugs and alcohol were the key. I was always like, oh, I'm not that bad. You know, I had a great background, great parents. Deemer eventually turned to pills, Percocet, and before long, his body was dependent. An expensive vice, and one day he says he couldn't get any. Then a friend offered something else. And I remember specifically, she said, you're going to kill me. I said, why? She goes, I got heroin. And, you know, I was scared to death. You know, I'm like, heroin? But he did it. And I immediately was not scared of it anymore. He says he put on a show for his family. They were aware of his drug problems, but he was always working to make them believe he had it together. The lifestyle sucked him back in when he would try to get clean or go through rehab. As an addict, he says he celebrated small victories, like when he passed a drug test. That night he overdosed for the second time in his life. Um, did, I snorted one line. That was it. But even the prospect of nearly dying didn't get through to him. He got in his car and drove home from the hospital at 3 in the morning. His family didn't even know about it at the time. Deemer's stints in rehab never kept him clean. He lost job after job. He came to the challenge October 5th of 2015 with support from his family when he says he hit rock bottom. Now he knows his daughter for the first time in her life. It's been great as far as, you know, she's got her dad back and I, I can actually be a father now. Um, but I, I feel bad, you know, 12 years I wasn't there for her.